Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to tackle a rebuild of this playhouse ladder from our swing set. As you can see it's pretty well rotted out and just recently one of the steps broke. The first thing I want to do is quickly tear this old ladder apart. I'll give the handles a quick refresh with some black paint so I want to save those. Although the hardware was pretty much rusted together so drilling them out was the only option. The rest will go in the trash, but I'm going to use the least rotted side to give myself a rough layout for the new ladder. Okay, now that we've got that all torn apart and cleaned up a bit, I'll use one side of the old ladder to give myself some guide marks on this new board. This is just a pressure treated 2x6 from the home center. I'm laying the old piece on here and just taking my best guess at where the bottom should be. Obviously it doesn't need to be exact. Then I'll trace the top angles. Next I'll transfer the location of the top of each stair. I'm going to do the top only because the new stairs will be 2x6 material, which is thicker than the old ones. Now I'll mark the angle, which is 22.5 degrees, using my speed square. Next I'll offset down from those marks by an inch and a half. And then I'll mark the angle for the bottom of each step, again at 22.5 degrees. Now we're going to jump ahead here, and you can see I've already cut all the dados for the stairs on the first one. I wanted to make sure I did the one off camera to make sure I didn't mess it up. With the first one done, I'll use it as a guide to transfer the stair locations to the other side, keeping in mind that these two need to be mirror images of each other. After transferring the locations of each stair as well as the top and bottom, I'll get all of these things clearly marked. And as you can see here, the two sides mirror each other. Now at the miter saw, I'll start by cutting the top angle. Then I'll spin the stock around and cut the bottom. This saw is a new addition to the shop just recently. This is a 10 inch Makita model LS1019L, and so far I'm very happy with it. Adjustments to get it squared up were very minimal and easy to make. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. Here I'm flipping the depth stop into place. As you can see, this allows me to cut to a specific depth rather than cutting all the way through. I make a series of cuts to remove most of the material, then I'll use a chisel to clean out the rest. I'll check the fit and trim just a bit more to get a good fit. And now I'll just move down the line and cut the rest of the slots for the stairs. With the stair slots done, I'll make the last cut at the top, which creates the angle for the ladder to attach to the swing set. I'll trace the angle onto the other side, remembering to mirror it so that it's on the correct side. And then I'll make the cut. I use my CNC table off screen to support the other end of the stock while making this cut. With the sides done, I'll move on to cutting the stair treads. I can get one tread out of each of the offcuts from the sides. The remaining parts I'll get from another board. I cut the knotty section off at the end and then cut the remaining parts. This piece I'm cutting now will go behind the top step. I think this is just to help to make sure the kids' feet are firmly on this first step before climbing down. Mm -hmm. 
Now, because of slight variations in thickness, the moisture in the lumber, and some slight cupping of the boards, I had to skim just a little bit off the end of each step to get them to fit nicely. The depth stop on the saw made this task pretty simple. To prepare for assembly, I marked where all the screws would be placed. Now, of course, one could just eyeball it and drove screws in, but it only takes a couple minutes to make all the marks and have all the screws align nicely. I pre-drilled all the holes in the sides. Now on to assembly. I'll place all the stair treads in place and fit the other side. Next, I'll set all the screws in place before driving them in. These are three inch Spax screws and two on each side of each step should be plenty strong. The last piece to attach is this piece behind the first top step. Again, I'll lay out the position, pre-drill, and drive in the screws. Now we're back out at the swing set to get this thing installed. First, I'll position the ladder and get it level. Next, I'll mark the existing holes and then pre-drill for some lag screws. Finally, I'll drive in the four new lag screws and it's nice and solid and ready to play. Well, I really appreciate you following along on this build. Before you go, if you could hit that like button, I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to get subscribed so you don't miss any future projects. That'll do it for this one. We'll see you on the next project.